Magandang umaga po ulit sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Sa bahay namin, nung bata pa ako, when I was still young, when my grandmother, my maternal grandmother was still alive, pangalan niya si Lola Osang, uh, Sinforosa ang kanyang buong first name. And... Uh, at home, she had this because she had a stroke some years before, and she her body was half paralyzed. So half of half of her body was paralyzed, and so she had this chair that she used to sit on. You know, she was very weak as in the paralyzed, tanga, very frail yung bose. So she would spend a lot of time in that chair, just sitting and just watching, you know, people around, watching us, her grandchildren. Tapos eh, kapag misan pag nagugulo, gumugulo na yung mga bata when you become rambunctious, eh, she would just say, no, stop it. You know, parang, tigil na, tama na yan. In her frail voice, despite the, the fragility of her voice, despite her weakness, despite the fact that she couldn't do anything to us because she was just bound to her chair, eh, lahat ng tao sumusunod. Everybody would follow. Pag sabi niya, tama na yan. Everybody would follow. Kahit na wala naman siya magagawa. Everybody. But everybody would follow. Not because of, um, of fear. But because out of respect. Out of love. And she was there just sitting. Um, in a way, I, I am reminded of this as we celebrate the chair of St. Peter. She had the chair too my grandmother and she and that was a chair of of authority of respect and love that was not a chair of to be feared it was a, a chair that that was cared for that was respected and and held up high in respect uh, long after she was gone nung namatay na siya the chair stayed in that in our family in that house for for quite, quite a while and nalimutan ko na kung anong nangyari but for a long time, the chair was there, and every time you look at it, it reminds you of your grand, of our. It reminded us of our grandmother, si Lola Orsang, and how how tender she was. She would call me every now and then as I was young. She would call me and say to me, "Alam mo kung anong gagawin ko, anong isasabi ko, anong uutos." But she would just ask for a kiss. Kisan mo ko? Oh, kiss ka naman, hahag ka naman. Not again, not out of fear or anything, but because you respected her and loved her. In, in um, some way, the chair of St. Peter is like that. It's a chair out of, it's a chair that, maganda yung introduction that was given to us. It is a sh chair that united the whole church in the teaching uh, ministry, the teaching uh, mission of the church, in the leading mission of the church. You know, it's a symbol of unity and harmony and caring for one another. And as we celebrate this chair of St. Peter, it's so appropriate that the first reading was from the letter of St. Peter. And he, in the first reading, gives us several tips on how to be leaders. Because all of us, somehow, one way or the other, are leaders of of. You know, leaders of the family, and parents are leaders of the family. If you are a teacher, you are a leader of your classroom. If you're a politician, you hold so, uh, political office, government office, you are a leader of your office, you know. <clears throat> you are somehow a leader of one sort, one way or the other. St. Peter tells us how to be a good leader, how to be a good harmonizer and unifier, sabi niya. Tend the flock of God in your midst. Importante don in your midst. Sibihin, do not even look forward too far away looking for people to lead. They are right around you. Look for the people. Tend the flock in your midst. Sumalapit sa'yo. Oversee it willingly, St. Peter said. Oversee it willingly. Sibihin, choose. Choose to lead, the, lead these people. Choose to, to be an example to these people. Choose to love and care for the people around you. And he continues by saying, not for shameful profit. Not selfishly. 
do not do that for your own benefit, but do that out of service, out of love, out of concern and compassion, out of care. And if that's your uh, motivation, love and care and compassion, therefore, you will not lord over it, lord over those assigned to you. So, hindi ka magbubosbosan, hindi ka maghahari-harian. You will not act like you're the you know, highest authority in the world. Hindi ka magjujush, you're not acting like God. Because your, your leading, your leadership is one out of compassion and love out of uh, responsibility in teaching them to be good citizens and good people and good uh, children, good children of God. Finally, he says, be examples to the flock. Kung yung tinuturo mo, gawin mo muna. Don't teach something that you cannot do, that you are not doing. So para sa atin, mga parents, mga leaders, or whichever group of people, be examples. No, eh, kung hindi mo pa nagagawa, eh, kailangan mo lam, eh, sabi mo na, like, like Jesus says to, to His people, no? to the people around Him before, do not as the Pharisees are doing. Do what they say, but not what they do. The same manner, kung tayo hindi pa natin nagagawa yung ating tinuturo, eh, isabi natin sa mga taong tinuturoan natin. So, St. Peter tells us, several several tips and hopefully with the help of saint peter with the intercession of saint peter sana sana in, in our own ways of leadership in the in the people that we lead sana we can be uh, example sana we can be gentle and compassionate and harmonizing unifying and sana we will not lose um, faith and energy in teaching as long as we can, in guiding as long as we can, by love, by compassion, by our examples.